Hey guys, it's me, Fidel, of my first experience is your Katie the Impossible, and thank you guys for this cool, awesome video. Uh, this video is part of a, part of multiple different series. I'm actually going to add this into different series because it means so much uh, to me, as well as I know it will mean so much to you guys. Um, so let's get into this. So recently I had a particular incident, right? And I, I call it an incident just because it affects more than me. It affected some of the people who were connected to the post. Um, and it relates to a Facebook post that I put out on Facebook. Um, and mind you, it was a question about, uh, it was, it was purely for educational means. It was a mix between religion and LGBTQ, uh, communities. It was purely for points of view and basically, uh, amongst some, some issues with some of the commentees, uh, some of my own community were getting attacked, uh, and there was a bunch of problems and I'm not going to go any further in this because, uh, only those who are directly connected as well as I've made my public statements about about this uh, I'm just I'm just completely done with it but what I, what the, what this is leading into is this this particular video I want you guys to I want I want you guys to understand something if you're part of my community or you're part of someone else's community part of any community whatsoever two things one is you want to make sure that whatever community you are connected to that they value you in such a way that um, that they are actively reaching out to you, that they are actively putting posts out there and saying, you know, hey, if you need to talk, you you need to say something, you know, you need there's feedback or whatever. It, it's important, okay? Because a, a community leader that actively um, seeks out feedback or seeks out communicating with their with the with the people in their community uh, as much as humanly possible is a great thing because it shows that they're trying their very best to make everyone happy, to make sure everyone is safe and stable and being able to communicate with other community members or with the leader or different things. Um, all I'm saying is that is that it, in my opinion, a community, a community leader or a community in general that actively keeps the lines of communication open and keeps the opportunities for someone to to say if there's something wrong or if there's something they need help on or if there's something that they don't understand or things like that uh, is a great community to be a part of. The second thing is this, and this is I'm flipping to the other side, is that for those of you who are in the community, for like all of you out there who are viewing this particular video who are in my community or part of another community or things like that. The thing is, is that um, your voice is important uh, for multiple different reasons. The first reason is your voice is important because you are part of something uh, where you might be a part of it because of your friends, because of your passion, because of whatever particular reason you are here uh, viewing videos or reading content or sharing content or sharing your own videos, whatever it might be, uh, because you want to be a part of a community, you want to be part with friends and things like that, right? So your voice is important because if something ha it happens that is wrong or something that happens that is uh, that there's an issue or things like that, it's important to know that your voice counts. And a lot of people will think, you know, at first, you know, oh, well, you know, in my particular scenario, people I see me talk on different things and hear that I've got 90,000 followers across multiple different social media networks. I am very, 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 very um, informative when I look at my emails or my Facebooks or things like that. If I see or hear that anybody has a problem of any kind. I'm making it my first priority and I have been making it my first priority to make sure that I hear them out, that I understand what their needs are or what's wrong or things like that because I want to make sure that my community is a place uh, where people feel safe to express themselves. And this leads into my next thing is, is that w while you having a voice and while you being the person of the community, your voice is important. Okay. Um, the thing is, is that with a community, particularly the community that I'm a part of, we're not all going to agree with each other. It's just common knowledge. We're all not going to agree with each other, but that's okay. It's okay to share our opinions. It's okay to share points of view. But when we start forcing things on people and attacking and, and stuff like that, it's just not right. So what I'm asking is from both sides. What I'm asking is for one is, is for those of you... Uh, out there who are sharing your points of view, you know, share your points of view and then let other people share their points of view and just understand that you may not, 
you may not agree with each other. And that's totally fine. That's how the world works. That's how diversity works. That's how we learn from each other. The other thing is, is that for commentees who are commenting on people's posts who have points of view uh, or, you know, who are commenting just in general on uh, particularly their thoughts, um, don't hold don't hold back. OK, you are you for a particular reason. You have a unique view. You have a understanding of the world through your eyes and through your experiences. And that is important. That is important to showcase. And as someone like me, when I put out posts and I ask for people's opinions or, or if it's for educational uses or things like that, I know I'm not going to, I'm not, I'm not going to agree with everybody. Uh, but I'm looking for points of view. I'm looking for understanding, you know, past what I know, but also past, uh, you know, um, figuring out what clarity or reality or, you know, proof or versus fake or things like that. You know, it's, it's, it's basically what I'm saying here, guys, is that both voices, you know, both your voice as a person in the community and both the voice of the person who runs whatever community you're part of is important. And the idea is that keeping the lines of communication open for the both of you is that it, it creates a connection. It creates possibilities for continuous growth. And this includes not only to, you, you know, the commentee to the, to the poster, this is a commentee to other commenters too, you know, having lines of communication open to them too, because some, you know, the idea of communities for people to help each other, even if it's not necessarily like in the community that I'm in, it's not necessarily me helping everyone out. At times it's other people helping other people out. And, um, I, I figured that if we keep the lines of communication open, we keep the lines of understanding and we keep a respect for each other's opinions and each other's uh, points of view, uh, that, that our communities will be a lot stronger or that communities in general can be stronger. Um, and it's just, it's just some thoughts. It's just things that I, I, I've been, um, I've been thinking about, you know, it's things that I haven't, you know, it's not like I haven't thought about these. It's just that these are hitting more home as this past experience has happened. Uh, and the thing is, is that I know that I definitely need to do more and that I definitely need to be uh, as uh, communicate open to communication as possible to many of you, as well as, you know, you guys, you guys need to understand that you have powerful voices because even though you're a part of a, this giant community, your voice is important. Whether something's wrong, whether something's right, whether you want to see something, it's important because we're, we're working together to achieve something awesome and to create something awesome. And I can't do it alone. I can't do it alone. I can, cr I can create ideas and create videos and, and those would be things that satisfy me, but I want to also satisfy those in a community because we're all friends. We're all working together. We're all working to do incredible things. So why don't we all work together and why don't we all understand each other's points of view? Even if we don't understand or don't, um, agree, you know, we all respect each other and we all, handle things in a respectful manner, no matter what place in the community we are in. Because, you know, the thing is, is like in my position, I don't have any exemptions. Even though I'm a community leader, it doesn't make a difference because I'm still a part of the community, no matter what part people put me on. You know, people might see me as kind of a pedestal of being a leader, of being a community um, ahead. And I think of myself as, okay, I created the community, but I'm a part of it. You know, you guys are just as a part of it as I am. And that's what I'm saying. So um, basically what I'm saying, guys, you know, like I said, is just... Um, be respectful of each other, share who you are, be who you are. Don't hold it back because you're important. You're awesome. You're special. You've been made for particular reasons. You've been made to show you your passions and share them and talk about your points of view. Don't hold them back. And the second thing is be respectful. If you don't agree to someone else's opinion, then just handle it respectfully or don't even respond or, or whatever situation it is. Just respect them. Just understand, okay, you know, I don't agree with you, but that's totally okay. That's the world. There's how many thousands of people out there? And we're not all going to agree with each other. But here's the thing is that if we can all work with each other, although we might not necessarily all agree with each other, incredible things can happen. So that's just my thoughts. 
Uh, so like I said, I'm going to be adding this to numerous different um, playlists uh, because this is very important for, for me to get out there. Uh, I want your guys' questions. I want your guys' comments. I want if there's something right or wrong or any types of issues, I want you guys to leave it in the comments below. I want to hear you guys. I want to assist you in as many ways as possible as well as help and encourage and inspire and motivate you and educate you as much as humanly possible. So let me know. You know what to do. Remember the perseverance is your key to the possible and I will see you guys in future videos.